Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to the historic TCL Chinese Theater. Today we are very proud to honor the career of one of Hollywood's greatest living screen legends, Robert De Niro. As the newest honoree to place his hand and footprints in the cement here at the TCL Chinese Theater. The origins of these famed Hannah footprints date back to 1927, when Norma Talmadge accidentally stepped into wet concrete, inspiring soup ramen to launch a tradition that would continue for years to come. This tradition is the most exclusive and longest running award ceremony in the entertainment industry. From his earliest on-screen appearances, it was obvious to audiences around the world that Robert De Niro was a star in the making. He has captivated millions of moviegoers with his performances for over four decades. His work in over 80 films has so far earned him two Academy Awards, along with an additional five Oscar nominations, including one this year for his incredible performance in Silver Linings Playbook. Here to help us honor Robert today is Dave Carter with Fandango. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome him here to the stage. Thank you all, and good morning, everybody. There are many reasons why Silver Linings Playbook was my favorite movie of 2012. First of all, there's David O. Russell's brilliant, no-filter dialogue. There's that euphoric dance sequence at the end of the movie. And there's any time Jackie Weaver says, Krabby Snacks and Home Aids. But at the top of the list of why I love this movie so much is Robert De Niro's priceless performance as Pat Solitano Sr. Now from the moment we meet Pat at the beginning of the film, he feels like someone we know. And as the movie progresses, he really takes us to some very surprising places. The scene between Pat Sr. and Pat Jr., Bradley Cooper, in the attic of their home is something I know I will not forget anytime soon. And Pat Sr. is just one in a long string of indelible performances that Mr. De Niro has provided. Just listen to this list. The Godfather 2, Taxi Driver, Goodfellas, Awakenings, Angel Heart, Midnight Run, Cape Fear, Heat, Marvin's Room, Jackie Brown, Meet the Parents, Being Flynn, Everybody's Fine. I've left out a couple and you'll see why. I was thinking about what it is about this performance as Pat Senior that I think is so special, and I realized that in the 1970s and 80s, with movies like Raging Bull and The Deer Hunter, Mr. De Niro really proved himself to be the most accomplished dramatic film actor of his generation. And then in the last 10 or 15 years, he's delighted us all by showing this kind of unexpected comedic side in movies like Analyze This. And what Silver Linings Playbook allows him to do is really mix those two worlds together. As Pat Sr., Robert De Niro lives in that truthful middle ground between drama and comedy. You could also call that life. And I can also say that as someone who has, until very recently, lived in Manhattan for the last, for 15 years and had the honor of serving as a juror on the Tribeca Film Festival jury, I can attest personally that Robert De Niro is a tireless advocate for independent film. And to see what he and Jane Rosenthal and Craig Hatkoff have done with the Tribeca Film Festival is pretty amazing. Robert De Niro is simply a soft-spoken force of nature, and I can think of no one who more deserves this honor right now than him. And also to help us with this ceremony, I am pleased to introduce one of Robert De Niro's most memorable co-stars. As I mentioned, the movies Analyze This and Analyze That really allowed him to show off an unforeseen side. And I think part of the reason why the comedy works so brilliantly in those movies is that he had the perfect comic foil. So ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Sobel himself, Billy Crystal. I thought you had forgotten us at one point. Um, I am so honored to be here to help Bob uh, put his feet and, and hands in cement. Um, <laughs> something he had done 
in films to a lot of other people. Um, our experience together on Analyze is that this is weird. I've never actually performed just for the press. There you are. I'm going to talk to you. I, I am, take such great pride in being part of his IMDb page. When, when we were going to... Uh, we were planning the movie, and they said, well, who could play Paul Vitti? And I said, well, it's got to be Robert De Niro. And they said, he'll never do it. He'll never do it. And so I called him and sat on him, and um, literally, for about a year, until he went... No, oh, all, right, all right, all right, all right. I'm still not sure he's actually committed to the film. <laughs> 15 years after we actually made it. Um, but trying to get him to be funny was my goal, and, and trusting it that you could be hilarious, because even in his darkest performances, even a raging bull, there was something that you, he could make you laugh, and that he did in spades and analyze this. And being his partner, I, I'm not used to playing straight for anybody. Um, but it was a thrill of a lifetime to be on the opposite side of that genius and see how it worked. And just by being with him made me such a better actor. And for that, I will always be grateful to him. Um, he's putting his footprints in cement for forever. Um, but his... Could you make that louder? <laughs> Thank you. Um, but what is so great about him is that his performances will live forever. There's never been anyone like him on screen and there never will be again, and I'm really proud to be a small part of his career. Thank you. Thank you, Billy. I, we have one other uh, special guest joining us, but before I introduce him, I want to bring up two kind of frightening statistics. Uh, Alwyn mentioned that Robert De Niro has seven Oscar nominations in his career. The most recent one, not counting Silver Linings Playbook, was 21 years ago. And his most recent win was 32 years ago for Raging Bull. I think that speaks to maybe the fact that we've taken him for granted in a way. And I also think that it needed a very special filmmaker to help collaborate with him and bring a performance that would garner this kind of acclaim. And that man is here today. So I am very happy to introduce a two-time Oscar nominee this year for Adapted Screenplay and Best Director, the writer-director of Silver Linings Playbook, David O. Russell. Uh, it is a great honor and privilege to be here and to know Robert De Niro in any capacity. Um, our story is bipolar in the sense that you've got uh, enormous heart and enormous enchantment and enormous comedy and I think who could do that better with a deeper heart than Robert De Niro when we first read the script together he cried because he has known people who have struggled with PTSD or bipolar we have a lot of veterans returning who are going to be living the lives like Bradley Cooper lives in our film and uh, many families are no stranger to these challenges and they have to find the magic and the love that Bob brought in his soul and he did bring his soul to this movie, and it's in the movie that is so healing and uh, has helped so many families step forward to me and say, thank you for making this film. You spoke to my family and what we've been through. That's my father, that's my son, and uh, that's my mother, and we've, we've lived through this, and you, you make us not feel so stigmatized. And at the same time, it was just a, a very emotional and funny film. So I want to thank Bob. He was our teacher every step of the way on the film. And I just feel privileged to know him. And um, I, I, that's it. Amen and Excelsior. Thank you all for being here. Tonight. Thank you, David. Congratulations again. You've heard us all talk about him. Let's hear from the man himself. It is my honor and privilege to introduce the man of the hour, today's honoree, Mr. Robert De Niro. You know, 
Joe Pesci always said I'd end up with my feet in cement. I don't think this is what he had in mind. Thank you, Dave Carger, Billy, Crystal, David O'Russell. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys. And I'm honored to be invited to join the impressive group of artists who have left their imprint on Hollywood Boulevard at Grauman's Chinese Theater. I'm a New Yorker. It's where I was born, it's where I live, it's where I raised my kids, it's where I started a film festival, it's home. But Hollywood is home too. They say everyone in the film industry has three homes. The home where they live, the home where their first wife lives, <laughs> and Hollywood. I love New York and I'm proud to be a citizen of Hollywood. Thank you for this honor and thank you for making me feel at home here. Look up what happens in the 